Hey there, welcome back to SimTech channel. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create an analog to digital converter, basically using the Arduino some basic electronic circuitry. As you can see here, the yellow signal is a PWM signal and the red signal here is the analog signal on the output of the op amp. So let's get started. Now to design a digital to analog converter, we need a digital signal and the analog converter part. Then the next thing is we need the output for the Arduino that is going to be our PWM pin. So I'm going to select as per our tutorial here, we're going to select pin nine. Then I'm going to rename this as PWM, PWM. Okay. Next, we need to connect the oscilloscope so that we can view our PWM signal. To do that, right click, place, virtual instrument oscilloscope and we're going to place it right here then we're going to connect the pwm output here to channel a which is the yellow signal great now then this will basically create a pwm signal for us then we are basically repeating the same thing here but in reverse mode to basically decrease from 100 percent to zero percent to the circle now, if you want to know more about how to generate PWM signal with Arduino, this is just one way. I have a tutorial where I went through the process of creating PWM signal with four different methods. This is method one. So there are four more methods that you can do. With this method, your PWM signal uh, uh, frequency is very much limited. So if you want higher frequency, you have to watch the other methods on my tutorial. Great, and that tutorial is on the description box of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and build this code. Make sure you've got your target board selected and COM port if you've got your physical device connected. So I'm going to build this quickly. Compile. Great, compilation down, no problem. But now, yes. now I'm going to stop this and then move to the low pass filter. Now, by the way, if you find this tutorial useful, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel, that will be highly appreciated. So for our low pass filter, all we need is the voltage is also increasing. And right now we're sitting at 3.5, 3.6, and the PWM is also increasing its duty circle. Now, when the PWM signal get to 100%, this voltage is going to be kept at just below five volt, okay? So if you're looking to get a uh, zero to 10 volt, you need the extra stage. So that will be the next stage that we're going to now implement so we can get a zero to 10 volt. This tutorial is basically part two. Part one of this tutorial is where I implemented this using the physical hardware, basically the RC filter and the Arduino to basically create this digital to analog converter. Great, now we need to connect this to ground. Now I just need to change this resistor to a value that will allow some current to flow in there because 10k is definitely going to cut it for us so let's go ahead and put the 330r so that will basically mean 330 ohm resistor now we are ready to basically run this uh configuration of our digital to analog converter so here we're going to see the voltage the 0 to 10 voltage here we're going to see the 0 to 5 voltage the current is also increasing here and this LED is getting brighter and brighter because we got much higher voltage pushing the current. And on the oscilloscope here, you can see that the red channel, which is channel C that got a 0 to 5 volt, is way behind the blue channel, which now is going to go all the way up to 10 volt. Okay, so that set the difference on the level shifting that we wanted. Okay, so we want to go from zero to 10 volt. So we take the low signal of zero to five volt and shift it to zero to 10 volt with a non inverting op amp and a gain of two. Okay, as you can see now, our input voltage is four and a half, and the output here is 9.2, and the LED is brighter. We got 21. Uh, milliamps of current flowing so this is 